Last time on Menji Speaks. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, across all platforms. Macabre Menji Speaks Back. <laughs> you didn't think I could be chained to just Halloween, did you? Well, much like Jack Skellington, I can't be tethered to just one holiday. But unlike Jack, I don't plan on screwing it up. So, what am I doing here then? Well, much like my favorite ride at Disneyland, spooks and monsters have taken over this joyous holiday to bring us a little darkness and fear. And much like any celebration, appropriate music is needed to set the mood. Allow me to present to you five creepy Christmas classics to keep those ghostly Yuletide shivers going till the end of the year. I may have ragged on Mr. Bobby Pickett quite a bit in my last videos, but really, that wasn't about him. Like I said, during Halloween, Monster Mash is the easy choice. It's the pumpkin spice of Halloween music. It's fun, you can only enjoy it certain times of the year, and some people hassle you for liking it. But seriously, Halloween can't be the only time the Monster Cinematic Universe gets together, can it? While having vague hints to Monster Mash, Monster's Holiday is a much more original spin-off on Mr. Pickett's original creation, unlike the Monster Swim, which was just... blatant. It's a poolside smash. For the holidays, these gruesome ghouls have decided that they want in on the present getting action as well, and have concocted a plan to hijack Santa's ride. But they were up to no good. Didn't act like good monsters should. They found themselves a new prey. They planned to rob Santa's sleigh. However, the monsters must have had a scab in their midst because their plans leaked like a much anticipated video game, and Santa caught wind of their machinations and decided to pay them a preemptive visit. Like a bolt of lightning, it happened so quick, and there in our midst stood old Saint Nick. But all's well that ends well, as Santa has the power to show even the crankiest of monsters the spirit of Christmas. Good on you, Bobby. Thanks for this holiday horror. Despite all his goodwill, there is a chance that even Santa himself could turn into a raging monster. Might have something to do with losing all those hoes. Comedy crooner Weird Al Yankovic gives us a vision of Santa who's had just about enough of it all and, like, can't even anymore. Thus, he turns his angst on his own workshop. He smiled as he said, with a twinkle in his eye, Merry Christmas to all, now you're all gonna die! In classic Weird Al fashion, he's taken the Christitunity to showcase Santa's rampage as an ultraviolet 80s-style action movie that would definitely not fly these days. This is made even better by the fact that this is one of his original tunes as opposed to a song parody. And he tied up his helpers, and he held the elves hostage, and he ground up poor Rudolph into reindeer sausage. Santa's actions have consequences, of course, and those who survived are wrought with psychological scarring, PTSD, and shady deals abound in the wake of the chaos. But now patience in therapy, and Don is still nervous, and the Elva got job working for the postal service, and the same as his class, she's on the phone every night, with a lawyer negotiating the movie rights they talk about. Just goes to show you that even old Kris Kringle can be pushed too far. Finally was the in his brain.
The world of hip-hop changed the landscape of music forever throughout the 80s, and by the 90s, everyone was trying to get a taste of that hip-hop pie. From Bart Simpson to William Shatner, rap had gone mainstream. Seasonal hip-hop was soon to follow. While top acts like Curtis Blow and Run DMC would try their hand at the holiday music game, years later, one artist would drop a holiday album to rival all others. If you were a kid with cable in the 90s, no doubt you probably tried to stay up late and watch the delightfully creepy Tales from the Crypt, a sort of Twilight Zone meets pulp comic series of horror stories hosted by the unforgettable and always entertaining Crypt Keeper. Listen here, St. Nicholas, Christmas Day is near. Me and all my fiendish friends have something you should hear. In 1994, Old Crippy himself dropped a Christmas album entitled Have Yourself a Scary Little Christmas, a disc chock full of tweaked out Christmas classics and a few original tracks as well, including Christmas Rap. Jason wants a brand new look, his is a disgrace. This time he would like a mask with Robert Redford's face. It could basically be seen as an update or, heck, even a sequel to Monster's Holiday. Classic monsters are joined by more modern ghouls, once again hoping for gifts from Santa, albeit this time a bit more demanding. Do you read me, fuzzy face? Do you get my drift? I want each ghoulish fiend I know to get their special gift. Crippy and the gang aren't pulling any punches, as they have no problem both listing their demands and insulting Saint Nick to his face. Although I'm sure they're not all bad, just misunderstood. All I ask is get these gifts for my friends some way, or we'll have roasted Santa Claus for lunch on Christmas Day. Collect up your best creepy puns and get funky fresh with this Crypt Hop classic. You better get busy, chubbo! <laughs> Ah, Krampus. Is there really any better way of making Christmas just a little bit scarier than by reintroducing this European anti-clause? As stated before, Christmas is celebrated many different ways in many different places, and in Eastern Europe for centuries now, Santa is known to run with a posse. And one of his most notorious crew members is the half-goat, half-demon Krampus, whose sole job it is to punish all the children that Santa adds to his naughty list. He will put you in a barrel, hit you with his sticks. He's recently been working his way back into the popular culture, especially out here in the States, and out of all the songs to come out of the woodwork to celebrate him, this quirky little tune by independent artist Actually Huizinga has got to be one of my favorites. Oh, Krampus! Given what we know about Krampy, a kidnapper and or child torturer, it's amusing to me to have such a happy-go-lucky song to celebrate him. Grab some eggnog, holly, and a burlap sack, and teach your children to ya 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 along with this festive tune. Lastly, let's check out a reimagined Christmas classic by a very unlikely source. <laughs> That's right. Decades ago, the Mouse House itself created this grim grinning holiday tune describing how Halloween witches celebrate the season. It's even got our old friend Spooky Refrain. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas songs that are just rehashed with different lyrics to change the meaning, so it's comforting to see that, while this song bridges into Jingle Bells for a bit, it is for the most part an original piece of music. Who knew witches enjoyed Christmas so much? Sounds like fun. We're wearing holly wigs on our pointed hats, flying round our trees with our bands, our bats, <laughs> bells on broomsticks ring, bells on broomsticks ring, making spirits high, making spirits join the chorus as we sing a Christmas song tonight. Make like Jack and celebrate Christmas and Halloween at the same time, because apparently that's not going away anytime soon and add this simple spooky tune to your collection. <laughs> well kids, it's been fun. This is where I leave you, but I'll be back next year, don't you worry. Have a scary Christmas and a haunted new year. In the words of my mentor, the ghost host, now you know what happens when the holidays meet you might get a trick or a holiday treat. <laughs>